Hi, and welcome to music. Let's get started with our routines. Make those fists for me. Do, re, mi, fa, so. your hand and let's say our poem. Every good boy does fine on the line. F-A-C-E, face in the space. Good ballerinas deserve fudge always. All cars eat gas. Well, this is the week of Thanksgiving. I hope you're looking forward to some time off to spend with your family, maybe eat some turkey, and give thanks to God for all of the wonderful blessings that he has given us. And so I have a song today that I want to sing for you that's called, Now Thank We All Our God. But before I sing it for you, I'd like to tell you a little bit about the story behind this song. You see, the man who wrote it was named Martin Rinkhart. And Martin Rinkhart was um, a German man who lived a long time ago, like over 400 years ago. And he lived in the area that's now Germany. So he lived over in Germany. He was a pastor. He was born into a poor family and he studied and he became a pastor and a minister, kind of like a, kind of like a priest, you know, someone like that. But he was married and he had a family and in his town, some really bad things happened. There was this very long war and his town was invaded and overrun like three or four times. Um, lots of refugees, people whose uh, cities were destroyed or their homes were destroyed, came to Martin Ringhart's city of Eilenburg, Germany, to, uh, to live. And even though his family, because there were so many people in the city, there wasn't very much food. So people were starving, there was a famine, and even though his family did not have very much to eat, they still took in refugees to help other people in need. And then when you think, oh my goodness, everything is so terrible and nothing could get any worse than this, it got worse. The plague struck the city of Eilenburg and it was this sickness that was extremely contagious and lots and lots of people were dying. In fact, Martin Rinkart was the only pastor in the entire city who was still alive. He performed over 4,000 funerals, sometimes 50 funerals a day. So war, overcrowding, famine and starvation, and then this sickness that kills a ton of people. Even his wife died from the plague. You would think that someone who experienced such terrible things would be really sad and angry. Maybe he'd be bitter. He wouldn't want to talk to other people or to God. But do you know what Martin Rinkart did? Every night at dinner time, he would gather his family and the refugees that were staying with them around the table and they'd hold hands and they'd pray a prayer. And that prayer is the words to now thank we all our God. And if you'll listen to this song as I play and sing it for you, you're going to hear how encouraging, uplifting, how joyful it is and think, wow, even in the midst of terrible things happening, we can give thanks and be joyful because God has done great things for us. So here is Now Thank We All Our God. Now thank we all our God with heart and hand and voices who wondrous things have done in whom his world rejoices who from our mother's arms has blessed us on Eternal triumph God. 
So that is Now Think We All Are God. And that's kind of our serious Thanksgiving song for um, this week. But I also have kind of a silly Thanksgiving song for you. And it goes like this. It says, oh, it's time once again for Thanksgiving, for the fun and the food that we all share. But it's not so much fun for the turkey. Who would rather we eat something else? Gobble, gobble, gobble. No, it's not so much fun for the turkey. Who would rather we eat something else? <laughs> so you can, you can let me know in your comments or whatever what you think we ought to eat instead of the turkey. But let's go ahead and sing that song. First, you got to get your oh, right? So it starts with oh, it's time once again for Thanksgiving. For the fun and the food that we all share. But it's not so much fun for the turkey. Who would rather we eat something else? Gobble, gobble, gobble. No, it's not so much fun for the turkey. Who would rather we eat something else? <laughs> I hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving. There's no Google Classroom assignment for this week. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving break, and I'll see you next week with a new video for our next little jaunt going into Christmas. Yay! So have a wonderful Thanksgiving break. Happy Thanksgiving, guys!